So let's talk for a minute about why would we want to even ferment foods. Um, so the reason I got into fermentation originally was because I was battling chronic yeast infections. And I knew I needed more probiotics, and the yogurt I was eating every day simply wasn't doing the trick. And so my mom had been reading about kefir and how it has so many more different strains of good bacteria than yogurt does. Um, yogurt has a few strains. Kefir can have um, dozens and even hundreds of different strains of good bacteria that can populate your gut and help you fight off um, yeasts and um, other, you know, bad bacteria that are that are in your in your gut. So I started using uh, milk kefir on a daily basis and over-the-counter meds and prescription meds had been prescribed for my yeast infections and I hadn't been able to get rid of them. They kept coming back and when I started drinking kefir every day they went away. And for years I had to drink it every day in order to uh, maintain that but finally I think my body has reached a healthy balanced place where I have a good balance um, of the bacteria in my gut and I, I love the kefir still but I don't have to drink it every day in order to stay healthy and to avoid having yeast infections. and um, But that got me interested in learning more about why ferment foods, why, like what is it all about. And I did a lot of reading. Um, we're going to have a post coming up that talks about some of the resources and books that can help you learn more if you want to dive into this into more detail. But I, um, I started making kefir. I started making my own sauerkraut and some of these other things that we're going to be sharing with you. And I realized that I was missing out on a whole world of flavors and um, nutrition profiles that um, I'd been missing out on and that most Americans actually are missing out on. We tend to want our food to be very clean, very sanitized. The idea of having anything that isn't perfectly 100% germ-free really bothers us. Um, but our bodies are made up of millions of bacteria that are in and throughout all of our body and we can't avoid that. What we need to do is make sure that there are plenty of the good ones. And throughout all of human history, in every culture in the world, there is some kind of fermented foods as part of a staple in their diet that they eat like every single day. And Americans are sadly lacking that. We developed refrigeration and canning to um, preserve our foods for us and so unlike most of the other cultures in the world that were using fermentation to preserve their foods, we lost out on this amazing, amazing resource. And um, in the process, we also lost out on a lot of the flavors that go along with that. So I hope that um, you'll be open-minded as we go through this in learning about um, some of these foods and, and how to make them. And, um, and yeah, I just hope you enjoy all of this because there's so many wonderful reasons, um, both health-wise and flavor-wise, to pursue fermentation. It's just, it's really wonderful.